This is Lofta scene two, take one. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Naomi, and this is a photo of me dressed up as my mate Barry. Hey kids, stay in school. We all love a good chuckle, but once the giggles stop, have you ever asked why we actually laugh? Does it actually serve a purpose? And what is laughter? All will be revealed. Today, I find out about the funny. <laughs> it doesn't matter who we are, where we're from, or what language we speak. One thing we all have in common is that we laugh. Surprisingly, the actual neural basis of laughter is not that well known. Many experts believe that a number of different brain pathways contribute to it. Parts of your brain usually involved in decision-making and control appear to be suppressed to allow spontaneous laughter. And when we laugh naturally, neural areas responsible for experiencing emotion appear to be connected with areas used to express emotion. In many ways though, what's remarkable is how much we don't know. And one of the reasons for this could literally be because we don't all get the joke. I'm being serious. A paper published in 2003 actually suggested that research into laughter has likely been impeded by a lack of consensus among psychologists on exactly what humour is. So, why do we laugh? Researchers think that the main reason is because laughter helps to create and deepen social bonds. As our jokey ancestors begin to live in larger and more complex social structures, the quality of relationships became crucial to survival. Quite simply, the evolutionary process would have favoured the development of strategies, like laughter, that strengthen these relationships. Today, laughing is such an important social tool that we do it before we can even talk. And by adulthood, the average person laughs around 17 to 18 times a day. Funnily enough, it seems as though only a small proportion of this laughter might actually be in response to something funny. In the 1990s, researchers from the University of Maryland observed 1,200 people in everyday situations, making notes on why and when they laughed. What they found was that only 10 to 20% of laughter was actually in response to something funny. The other 80 to 90% of laughter actually followed banal everyday phrases like, where have you been? Or it was nice meeting you too. The researchers concluded that laughter is like a social glue, helping humans to bond. It's so social that we're 30 times more likely to laugh when we're in a group than when we're alone. <laughs> <laughs> so we know laughter is great for socialising and the survival of the human species. But researchers are also beginning to find that a laugh a day really can keep the doctor away. In a 2015 South Korean study on middle-aged women, researchers discovered that laughing therapy can lead to increased levels of serotonin, a neurotransmitter which promotes feelings of well-being and calmness. Another study led by researchers at UNSW found humour therapy could significantly reduce agitation, but not depression, in elderly people in homes. While other research by Deakin, Monash and La Trobe Universities have been exploring whether any of the positive health benefits of laughing could help people on dialysis. True story. Okay, so it's possible that there are some real health benefits to laughter, but it turns out humans might not be the only winners. Surprisingly, researchers have found that we're not the only animals who get our giggle on. Gorillas like to laugh. Not surprising given that we share 98% of our DNA with them, but their laugh sounds like this. Apparently, it's an invitation to play. But it's not just mammals who love to laugh. Birds do too. Austrian researchers have just discovered that when the kia, a New Zealand alpine parrot, hears a recording of a warble that they emit during play, so essentially a laugh, it starts to frolic around. And then it emits more warbles to encourage other kias to get in on the action. The researchers think the kia behaviour is similar to contagious laughter in humans. You could say the kias are parroting human behaviour. So we know that laughing played a huge part in how we evolved in the past, how we socialise, it might even be good for you, and we're not the only creatures who do it. Oh, and that kookaburra laugh? <laughs> it's not a laugh. It's telling you to get out of its territory. Which isn't very funny at all. <laughs> 